In this video, I'll be using group policy to deploy Firefox extensions. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup, and there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Firefox settings via group policy. And now I will begin this video by going to my Vember workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy. So I will go to tools, group policy management. Then I will right click on group policy objects and select new. I will name the policy Firefox settings. Then I will click OK. I will expand group policy objects. I will select the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select edit. And I will be creating this policy for my computer. So I'll go to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates. Mozilla and I will select Firefox and here we have this folder right here called extensions I will go inside of it and here we are looking for the setting called extensions to install I will click on it I will enable this policy and click on show and here we need to provide list of URLs for the extensions that we want to install and for that I will go back to my github page because here I have this link that brings us to the Firefox extensions page and here we can select few extensions that we can install. I will select the more top ranked apps. I will install uBlock Origin and also Bitwarden. So let's select first uBlock Origin and somewhere here we should find this link right here that says download file. I will right click on it and I will click on copy link address. Then I will go back to my server. I will insert the value here for my first extension. So this link will install uBlock origin and now we need to provide the second one and this one will be for the Bitwarden. Once again, I will right click on this link and I will copy the link address. Then go back to the server, insert the value and that's it. Let's click OK and apply and once again on OK. And we're done configuring this policy. Now we can close this window. Now let's go to details. And for GPO status, I'll select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating the policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the extensions. In my case, the computers our organization unit will be this one because it holds all of my computers. I will click on hold on the policy and then I will drag and drop it on the organization unit. I will click OK here and as you can see the policy appeared in the list here and also we can see it in this list. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Firefox and if I go to extensions here you can see that I currently don't have any installed. That's because even though we created the policy we didn't give it enough time to update on the client machines. So to update the policy I will go to my start menu. I will search for CMD. And in this CMD window, I'll type GP update and let's press enter and wait a bit. And the policy was updated successfully. So if I go back to the Firefox, we still don't have the extensions installed. And that's because for the settings to apply, we need to relaunch Firefox. So I will close it, reopen it. And as you can see, stuff is happening. We have the Bitwarden extension. And also here we can see that we have also the uBlock extension installed and also enabled and that's basically it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one